Hey, I'm traveling alone. This is the gold trail, yeah. Would you uh, care to accompany me? I can't pick up the machete. I need this. Gold Creek Trail, that's what he said, okay? Park like a G. Potato chips, don't need that. Look at that, it just disappeared. This was your job, dude? Oh. Welcome back, we're checking out Fears to Fathom. This is Fears to Fathom episode four, Iron Bark Lookout. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submission while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. I feel kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I'm lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. What happened? Guess we're gonna find out, right? I'm Jack Nelson. I had a small job as a park ranger in, in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. Yay pops. Yay pops. That RV was the only sense of hope I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I live out of my RV and like traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Okay, we're in our RV. Oh, we're getting there. We're driving down the road. Everyone keeps texting me when I'm when I'm driving. Why can't they text me when I'm not driving? I lived a very solitary life. I get that feeling, I do too. What's that? I didn't want to run off the road. Okay. So how far are we driving here? Hope I don't have to do this for two hours. Can you imagine that? <laughs> driving like this for two hours? I've always loved the great outdoors. I do too. Just being surrounded by nature gave me happiness. Me as well. <laughs> I'm just agreeing with everything. I felt like I was at home in the woods. That I don't agree with. I like being outdoors, but not so much in the woods. Can I read? Do I, do I need to pull over to read these? Let's see. All right. Start with Mitch. So you arriving on Friday, just park your truck around the back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. Hold on. All right, I had to put my headphones on because this music is a little, a little too loud. All right, so you're arriving on Friday. Just park your truck around the back on the gravel park by gate D. Got it. And from there, you'll be on foot. Take the Gold Creek Trail. From there, it will take you a couple of hours until you reach the, your tower. A couple of hours? Okay, got it. Thanks. You'll probably see Billy at the gate. Just show him your ID. Did you pass Roseburg yet? No, why? There's remember, there's this diner while passing Roseburg. They have the best burgers in town. You have to try them. Could really use a good meal. Okay. Let's see if we can find that diner. Is this the diner? Oh, this is not the diner. 
This looks like a gas station. Maybe it's over, over here. Oh, here it is. Whoa, 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 uh. Dang. I was very proud. I'm not proud of my driving. Let's see how I parked. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Parked like a G. All right. Let's see if we can get one of these burgers. All right. Are you gonna help me? Welcome to the Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like. I'll be right with you. What's up? I'm gonna take this seat all the way back. Wait, is this an exit? It's the restroom. Let me wash my dirty hands. Perfect. I need to be close to the exit, but it's only one way in, one way out. I'll tell you what, I'll sit here. Good evening. I'm Barbara. And are you ready to order? Sure. What do you have? The cheeseburger and fries. Large Coke. That'll be all? Yes, thank you. Will do. Give me my burger. I need to taste this. I always had a habit of peeing before eating. I just, really? Does that mean I have to get up? Let's go pee. Jeez. Here we go again. More peeing. What's up with the peas? This is the same thing in the last one. Up, 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 up. Up, 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 up. Alright. Do I flush? Yep. Just like last one. Don't. Wait. Oh, I do. I can flush. What if I could flush in the last one? I just didn't. Okay. I don't remember if I could flush or not in Carson's house. Awesome. Where's my burger at? Where's she at? I'm hungry. Barbara. Where's my food? Oh, here she comes. Thank you so much, Barbara. Would you slow walk? Thank you, Barbara. You are the best. How's this burger taste? Hmm. Delicious. Figured it'd be a while before I had a meal like this again. Hmm. Delicious. Scrum delicious. <laughs> That's right, Barbara. Oh, what do you want? Kayla. So did you end up going? How was it? I'm here. Still eating. This is so good. Yeah, it's it's not bad. Oh, more. Told you. Hee <laughs> hee. This food reminds me. You should send me that casserole recipe you were talking about. I might get a chance to immerse myself. Did you enjoy your food? Yeah, it was great. Would you like to have anything else? Or should I get to check? Get to check. Okay, thanks. What did she say again? I might get a chance to immerse myself in the art of cuisine in a new lookout. Oh yes. I'm on my way home. Send you in a bit. I'm gonna leave you because you're so friendly. I'm going to give you $6 and 50% tip. Yeah, I'm going to give you 50%, Barbara. Because you're so nice to me. Thank you for your generosity. Yeah. Anytime, Barbs. Hey, I'm traveling alone. Would you uh, care to accompany me? Bar Barbs. Barbs. Where are you going? There's no one here, Barbara! Dude! What is wrong with her? Uh, I'm probably gonna run into you again somewhere. 
I'm almost sure of it. Uh, miming your food. Let's get out of here. Alright. Let's get back in our truck. In our RV. Oh, I left the door open? Let's get back and let's see. Alright. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right. We're back in the road. We're going to try and find this lookout. We got to find this trail with a gold track. Is that what he said? All right. And there we go. Cutscene, 8.02 p.m. We must be getting close. Yeah, where, where's the trail at? I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the other horror I've seen in the woods. What is going on here? Am I stuck? Oh, I hit that pole? Alright. I think we're here. Oh. It's dark and it's late. It's scary. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Is this the gold trail? Yeah. Gold Creek Trail. That's what he said. Okay. So. This was your job, dude? Oh, my God. Dude. Holy moly. You scared me. I thought you were one of the one of them. You scared me! Hey, Lord, have mercy! What the? Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. I'm not a camper. What? I'm due to transfer fire lookout. Ah, okay. Yes, that's correct. I didn't know we were hiring this season. Yeah, I should have told you. Hang on. Let me check on that. I should bash you upside your head, man. <clears throat> Scare me like that. Dude, your office is messy. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at the fire tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left on staff for the season. But here are your keys. <gasps> Take the keys. Thank you very much. Let me open the trail gate for you. Yeah, do that. And stop scaring people. Me no like that. And clean up this office! You got stuff everywhere. Anyway. Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thank you, Billy. Appreciate it. You be careful. Take this. Take the flashlight. Tower keys. Welcome to Iron Bark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system just so we know you clocked in safely. Will do. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 Junior staffing, nice enough guys. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergencies. Thank you, Billy. You're the best. What? Hey, just a piece of advice. 
Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your tower. Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bears. Nasty business. See, you, you got it. Bobcats and bears, I thought? Okay. I left my bag in the RV. Do I need to go get my bag? Bobcats and beers, eh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to mess with any beers. Don't see any bags in here? Bathroom door strangely jammed. Oh, here we go. Got my bag. Forgot to close the door. Okay, let me close the door. Okay, can we go now? Let's try and get it, make our way to our lookout. Some tell me that it's uh, a bear and or a bobcat might come into play later. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. This has got to be a scary job. You think about it, you're... Alone out in the woods, by yourself, with beers and bobcats running around? Yeah, not for me. Take a trip to a park, <laughs> or an amusement park. Einbark Tower 11. Okay, we're going this way. Living in the fire tower is not a glorious job. Imagine being out there alone for weeks at a time. But I've always had a fondness of that. I ascended the stairs to the top of the tower. Once you're at the top of the tower, your job is to look out for fires. Okay. Awesome. Cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I finally in my new home for the next few months. Is this the light? Oh, the generator's out. Got to turn on the generator and pray. I'm sure that's probably down here somewhere. <laughs> What's that? It's another little... Is this it? Generator's on. Well, before we do that, what's over here? What do we have over here? This is a hot water heater. Got a gas can. I'm sure we're probably gonna need that. My hands are full. Matches. Another flashlight. And a bunch of books. Okay, I'm going to need that at some point, so let me go drop my boot bag, my bag off, and then make my way back down here. How much does this job pay? Because you're literally risking your life being out here with all these wild animals. Oh, I already have a gas can here. Okay, cool. So, the light should be on now, the power. There we go. I'm gonna throw you there. And then I gotta sign on to the system, right? Rainbow, I initialize in. Oh, shoot, what's the password? Uh-oh, I don't know what the password is. Oh, it worked. Ironbark 11. 
is basically where I'm staying at. Hello there. It's Smiley, your trusted virtual assistant, here to help you make the most of your computer day. What's on your mind today? Clickety click. Here's a random fact for you. Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain, continues to grow about a quarter of an inch taller each year due to tectonic plate movements. Sure. Hmm. What's on your mind today? Nothing. Why do you keep talking to me? How do I make this weather service report? Heinbark map report and service. Static. New guy. Haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Connor, okay. Isn't that the job? We've had to cover your area until you arrived. Okay, cool. Anyway, Preach. what brings you to this towering paradise? Just looking for a change. I'm just looking for a change. What? An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. You got a fire going? No, I don't. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm shivering. Got it. Okay, thanks. I got a light a fire. Sure, I need gas. Actually, I think we had gas downstairs. So I think all I need is a match. Oh, wait. Do I light that in here? I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up yet? The wood stove should be around the entrance. Get her lit. Got it. I'm trying to work on it. I can't find a wood. Like, where is the freaking wood? Ugh. There's the, okay, here we go. No firewood. Yes. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin, but if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. I shouldn't have mentioned that before. This is crazy. Oh, you know what? Well, I think I can make it without a light. This is crazy, man. You just told me that the firewood was down here from the start. And not lock me up there in the tower. Man, we got my wood. Ooh, binoculars. Can't carry anything else. All right. Take this back upstairs and get this lit up. Place it in the stove. I'm going to do just that. Get my humble abode nice and warm. <laughs> All right. Bam. Get some gas. Oh, nope. I'm about to burn this tower down. Look at that. <laughs> All right. 
Now, where's the match? Where are the matches? What did I do with the matches? They were just right here. Oh, wait. There they are. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Close that up. That should have exploded. Like, seriously. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? No, not yet. It's out of here. Let me do my report. So, wait, what's the temperature? Wind speed. Did you report for the night yet? Better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required report every night before signing off. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. No, I do not. But you know what? I don't care at this point because this place is not what I was expecting it to be. Ironbark forecast. How do I know Flash? Where do I go to report this? Temperature. How do I get all this information? All right. Um... What do we have here? Plague EXE, what is this? Here, we have a game. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Are they coming for me? Where are they going? Oh, no, oh, no. Uh-oh. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Damn. Bam, 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 bam. That's what I'm talking about. Oh no, stay still. Get out of the way. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh, oh. oh, I need help. I need help. I got it. I got it. I'm just, I'm picking them off, man. What do I win from this? This is a piece of cake. Where does this go? What's down here? Where are they at? Are they coming? Got some health. Headshot. Are there any more? Show yourself, demon. All right, I think I'm done with this. That was fun. Definitely got my mind off of all the stuff I can't find right now. Alright. Ironbark Trail map. This is the Ironbark State Park Trail map. Where you're planning a hike. Assistant hikers or just want to explore the park's beauty from the comfort of your screen. I'm here to help. You're not helping me at all. Tell me where to find all this information. Wait, what's this? Is that the temperature? 40 degrees? I wonder if that's it. Alright, 40 degrees, what's this? Ooh! Is this to measure the wind? 17 knots. Alright. We're, we're figuring this out. 17 knots. Get out of here. And 40 degree. Well, right, let's see. 40 degrees. Wind. I got it, dude. Get, get. 
17 knots. It's not cloudy, but I'm going to leave that. Number of hikers assisted. I didn't help anyone. What was my name again? Jack Nielsen? Is that right? Something didn't look right. It's 46.462. Here? All right, there we go. We're in. We're in, we're in, we're in. All right, here we go. Right here. Tower 11 copy. Sign off for the day. Tower 12, signing off. All right, you... Good night, you guy. Cool. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night, over and out. I guess that's my cue. I got to get in the bed too, right? Oh wait, should close the boards outside before heading in. Close the boards. Oh no, not that. This one. Is that it? Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, we're done. There's nothing else on this side, right? All right, we're cool. Cool, cool, cool. Get this off. Turn off this light. And I'm going to get in the bed. Yeah. All right. We're figuring this out. 3.26 a.m. Hmm. Unintelligible. What? What is this? What's going on? What's going on, Connor? I had to pee. Connor. Connor, what's... What's happening, Connor? I gotta go downstairs to pee. My first night being out the cabin... Gave me a strange feeling. I had to pee. Being left here alone was somewhat unsettling. You think? Where's my flashlight? There we go. Is that what I need? Yeah. No. Still can't go down yet. Pay space to pee. Alright. I'm just... Peeing on the, the side of the ledge here. Well, I guess it's a lot safer than going all the way down. It is late. Pee, pee, pee. All right. I'm done with the peeing. What's next? Still can't go down. Ooh. Ooh, what's that? Who's that? Wait, hold on. Let me get the binoculars. There's someone down here. Where did that? Is that? There are two guys down there. Oh, it's a guy. Where's he going? Where's this dude going? Who is that? Is anyone down here? That's weird. Okay. Still can't reach Connor. What are you doing, Connor? Some creepy man down here walking around in the middle of the night. What do I need to do? Unless that's Connor. Beeping, I saw. Saw something beeping. Like blinking. Was that a fire? Alright. 
looks like I'm done with that, so I'm going to go back in here, close that, put that right there, go back to sleep. Alright, night two, let's do this. Ah, it's just you and the wind and time just melts away. Mmm. Delicious. All right. Can I take a photo? That's beautiful. Let's do that right here. Snap. So... So far, not bad. I'm going to take another photo. Can I zoom in over here? What's this? I don't remember seeing... Oh, that's the lighthouse. That's the other lighthouse. This is not bad. Not bad. I'm going to finish up my coffee here. All right. Oh, wait, let me put this back up top. Hey, guy. You copy? Yeah, what's going on, Connors? This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Yeah, I got you. I got you, Connor. Let me put this in the sink. Bam. Turn this off so I can hear you. Yeah, what you Do you copy? Copy, that's right, Connor. What's going on, dude? Uh oh. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Smoke? Connor, what are you talking about, dude? Oh, there it is. I do see it. Okay. I need you to confirm. Do you see that smoke up north? I do see the smoke. You spot that white smoke up north? Yes. It appears to be in the Lazy Trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. Yeah. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh, is it safe? Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. A bear spray? What? Do you have another detail? No additional information at the moment. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. I don't have a. I don't have a choice. Stay safe out there. Damn. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, new guy. Over and out. Whoa. a beer spray let me tell you this is my worst fear when it comes to being outdoors I've said it before and I'm gonna say it again I am terrified of beers is that is this north I think it was over this way right I was on the wrong trail okay I think I have to go back down, then make a left. That's the shack. Yeah, man, I don't, I don't mess with these woods. Like I can't, I can't imagine going on a, a hike, or on a trail, and then be eaten, or attacked, by a bear. Look at that. There's a sign right here. Caution in the area, bears. Uh huh. This is not cool. Eight thirty. 7 p.m. We've been out here all day. I followed a trail that led me to the smoke. Oh, 
Oh, it's getting creepy. I couldn't just turn around. I had to check out the source of the smoke. Okay. What is going on here? Okay, there's the smoke. I hear someone whistling. Kayla. I don't think my sector has a very good service. Okay. View from the tower. Okay. So the, I took the pictures for Kayla. That's what it looks like. Now I gotta figure out who's whistling. And whose campsite is this? Who is whistling? Who's there? Anyone there? The area behind this point is closed, okay. How do I, uh... So what do I do here then? They got all this, they got all this camping gear here. I can't pick up the machete. I need it, I need this. Tower 11. Okay. I had to put it out, okay. How do I do that? Gotta get some water. Okay. So whoever campsite this is, they just left it here. They just abandoned it. All right, let's get that out of the way. Get my beer spray. Still closed. All right. Well, I already put out a fire. I don't know who, who this is. They could just come back and light it. Let's get back to our tower. It's getting late. One of these beers might get me. 9:07 p.m. As I hide back through my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense. That something was terribly wrong. I couldn't sit, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Is someone up in the tower? Better run, dude. Run, run, run. Let's get back to safety. Man, who would sign up for a job like this? Like, seriously. Let's close all these. Let's get back in here. I... I this is not a job I, I want, I would want to have at all, period. I had to report to Connor. <sighs> Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Are you kidding me? Son of a... They never learn, do they? They lit us back. I'm sick of these bastards. It's 
Unbelievable. This is the third time this month alone. They lit the fire back. I wonder if that's what it is. Anything else you notice in those woods? You know, I heard from the rangers that many campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Disappearance of kids? What does that have well, to do with people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities? Word. It's crazy, I know. You would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes I only well. At least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower Eleven urgently. You guy. I hope you don't believe those rumors. No, oh, absolutely not. Where is, uh, yes, maybe, possibly. <laughs> Let's just go and no. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. Alright, so keep me updated. Burn out. Dude, that's crazy. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this video, then let me be the first to say congratulations. You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, we have been known as one of the safest parks in America. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our Fire Lookout Observers. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time, so also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. The science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep That's records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. Scientifically? After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. All right, we have done that. All right, so I don't need to do that. What is all this? And we are back. So how do you... Like, how is this all animated? Who is this? It's done by a four-year-old? Fascinating. What do you... Marriage with the wife. Sir. What is this about? Hi, everyone. I'm Ron Ross. I'm here to paint with you. Today, I got some cool paint. This is something called testicular green. What? It reminds me of my wife. I love my wife. Anyways, a little water there. Time to switch brushes. Oops, that's the wrong brush. <laughs> a needle. I'll save that for later. Ah, there it is. The basting brush. This brush is really great for painting in those details. I think I'll You're not painted! Oh, there you are. This is where I buried the bodies. You know what would look good here? A nice, happy cabin right there. Reminds me of when I had an affair with my wife with a squirrel enough about me let's read some fan mail sent in by you guys who wrote this fiction notice uh forget the fan mail we'll be right back after this commercial break <laughs> he caught the pace the essence everything of bob ross except the look he did not look like bob ross at all cat meow is this a game? Is this another game? Ooh, 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 ooh. 
意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意意There's some weird A videos on this computer. I need to get off of this. Seriously. Is it bedtime yet? Kayla? What do you need? What? Oh, not delivered. Looking at the photos make my stomach growl. As a matter of fact, let me try th that recipe now. She sent me that recipe, but before I do that, I need to record my stuff real quick. 46.7 again. Got 46.7. 18. 18. And then we got cloud. I got was it zero or one? Jack. Good. Now. Let's go find, get something to eat. Cause I'm hungry. I'm hungry. The casserole. So she sent me this recipe. Uncooked, uncooked pasta, marinara sauce, pepperoni, mozzarella cheese. Bam. What else? Marinara sauce. Bam. That's it. Marinara. Put that in there. Then we got pepperoni. Don't you disappear from me again. That's it. Yeah, pepperoni. Bam. And then we got mozzarella. Mozzarella. Bam. And then we have diced tomatoes. There we go. Diced tomatoes. Put this in the oven. Plop that in there. Bam. Bam. I'm about to eat good tonight. Tonight. It's about to be a feast. I do have a name, you know, Connor. You guys, you got me? Uh, yes, I'm here. Why do you keep calling me? Uh, just reported their ass to the authorities. What did Don't I worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. Okay, I'll good. Why, thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over. Good night. Good night. Okay, I did my report. My casserole's done. I just remember the smell of the fresh sizzling cheese. Mmm, yummy. Let's close that. Where did I put it? I'll put it here. I guess I can put it on top of the microwave. Or do I just eat it in the bed? How do I eat it? I like eating in the bed, okay. That's where I was. Oh, here we go. Mmm. Scrum diddly umptious. You gonna eat this whole thing by yourself? Mmm. 
Mm. Oh, so good. Mm. Yeah. The day where we can taste cart. The day when we can taste game food. Okay, I'm already full. Okay. Well, will be a day to remember. All right. All right, you know what? I'll leave you there. I'm getting, I'm ready for bed. It was cold though. It was getting cold. Thought I'd get the stove, the wood stove. Oh yeah. I need to get a wood stove. I need some more wood. Someone's gonna get me down here. Someone's gonna get me down here. I need more wood. Why can't we can't like store some of the wood up top? Someone's gonna get me. Someone's gonna get me. What's gonna get me? Okay, so far so good. We're almost at the top. I'm getting there. Whew. That was close. That was close. I hate going out there. I feel like somebody's just gonna like jump out and eat me. Bam, bam. I'm just pouring this gas everywhere. Get out of here. Alright. So put you here. Let's get in this bed. Night. I'm out. Like a light. Like a light. I'm I was walking by some feeling that caused my eyes to drift open. Who's that? Who the heck is that? Why do I not have a gun out here? Of course, Connor's no help. heck do I do? I don't want to open the door. I do not want to open the door. Who's out there? There's somebody that was just right here. We don't have any cameras out there? This doesn't help me at all. Alright, I guess we gotta open the door. Ah! Oh! Shoot! What the heck is this? I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. The only logical, logical thing I could think of was to contact Connor. Oh my god, Connor, pick up that freaking... Connor! You copy! Do you have any idea what time it is? You just couldn't wait until morning? No. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. What if it's not a prank? This dude don't care. He just want me to do... Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. It'll be morning before you know it. <sighs> try to get some sleep, Jack. Over now. Thanks for nothing, Connor. How do I lock the door? How do I lock the door? It's 
This is crazy. Night three. Connie, you bought it. The next day I woke up not being sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids, but there was something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. 8.34 p.m. Oh, it's still night. My paranoia for the, these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant moving forward. Extra vigilant, eh? Oh, I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Let's clean this off. Oh, what was that? Flare? What was that? Clear, it looks like. Why do they keep opening these? I don't want these open. Let me close all this stuff again. And head back inside. Who's that? Hello? Can anyone hear me? Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. What's what's going I on? I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Lost track of time. A and now it's dark and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? What is your current location? What equipment do you have with you? What is your current uh, location? I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gunshots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. That was you. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Do you remember any landmarks? What direction are you facing right now? I'm surrounded by trees, and I remember passing a small stream earlier. I'm walking towards east. west right now, because I remember walking east when I came here. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Should he come towards me? No. You go right. You go right. I'm, I'm on the left. I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. You're welcome. I hear you. I hear your whistles. What? what? I see you behind the trees to my right. You're freaking me out. Who's that? Who's that? Holy moly, what look what took you so long there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, hey, the Lord be merciful. Anyways, I got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Well, thank you. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Take the supplies. Thank you. What were you doing in, the, in there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around there, pal. I was required to investigate a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. 
Bobcats and bears, yes. You mentioned that before. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal. And there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Hmm. Eat me? Not today. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here. Absolutely. It's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Just getting used to the new environment. Mention the skull, yes. Oh, Lord of mercy. Did you take a photo of it? Oh, dang. No, I didn't. I didn't think about it at the time. You know, it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. True. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. Thanks for the supplies. Dude, take me with you. Take me with you, man. I don't want to stay up here. I want to go. I want to go. I don't want to stay up here. Oh, this job sucks. All right, what did I have in this box? Uh, I'm getting hungry again. I'm going to make it more casserole this time. I'll eat the rest of the casserole. All right, do I just eat this cold? Food was cold. That's what I thought. So I just I put you in the microwave now? Is that where you go? There we go. Awesome. All right, so did I do my reporting for tonight? 54.8. Let's get this logged in. 54.8 Wind 23 knots It's windy Got a windy night tonight Got 23 and windy 23 Wind. I think I already reported for the night, actually. Yep. Eating up good. Eat up good, Jackie boy. I would quit this job. Seriously. You couldn't pay me <laughs> enough to work out here. Alright, I just finished eating. Put that in the sink. Turn off this light. Oh. Close that. And good. Oh shoot, I didn't report. Yeah, 23 knots. It looks windy to me. See, you can see the wind. Like blowing the trees. Twenty-three. 54.8. 54.8 23 Wind There we go Good Got that out of the way Now I can go to bed Get me out of this place man I'm done with this game I was getting cold Thought I would Oh the freaking wood again Oh my god Ugh. Why do I have to keep getting wood Why can't I bring extra up here This is where I'm going to get eaten now, right? Something is definitely going to get me out of here. Where is it? I'm embracing myself. <laughs> Dude! What the fuck are you doing here, man? What the Ugh! You just gave me a heart attack. Who are you? No, to be, no need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just... Doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi to the new guy. 
everyone's been talking about. Nice to meet you. Do you usually work this late? Why not just get the hell out of my way? <laughs> Every Sunday, just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reached the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Right, we relay information on fire sightings. I agree. Fire risks are high. You know what? Absolutely, but some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can stop them. What are you talking about, dude? What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. And sometimes disasters are just another form of cleaning, a way for the land to purify itself. What? I should, I should head back to the tower now. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember... What? Curiosity can lead to places you would rather not go. Okay. Farewell, Jack. Dude, I should throw this thing at you. Get you. Come here, come here. Get, get you ass out of here. Oh, shoot. I can't pick up the wood now. <laughs> Can get some more. Dude. It scared the mess out of me, man. What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to do my job. You come here popping up on me in the middle of the night. I'm trying to get some firewood so I can go to sleep. You know what? As soon as I get out of this job, I'm quitting. I'm going to find a job at a department store stored somewhere. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. Get out of here. All right, good. That's done. Bed. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. What are you talking about, man? You guy. What are you talking about, dude? I... You got me now. I'm here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? It doesn't exactly take ages to get just some firewood. Ran into who? A radio tower worker. Guy maintaining nearby the radio tower. <sighs> this is about yesterday. What do you mean? Who was that guy then? It was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. Its repair costs were deemed too costly. Its repair date was postponed until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who did I just so, talk to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He... your name? You think he's been listening? I'm not sure. Possibly, maybe? Got it. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Oh god, yeah, me too. Signing off. Alright. I'm I'm done. I'm done, dude. Who was I just talking to? Who the frick was that? Huh? This is crazy. My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. So when I signed off that night, I told myself that it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I had seen so far in those woods was not enough to cause an alarm yet. Really? However, that would soon change. Two nights later. Okay. Security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for letting me know. How do you update the computer? Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology is not really my thing. 
Connor. Come on now, Connor. You're not helping me out here. Dare I say it? These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Anyways, for now, use the console to run a new system update. Use a console. Sure a young man like you can figure it out. Oh, gosh. Alright, I'm on it. Important software, blah, 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 blah. Console, here we go. Type help. Help. Okay. Where's the system update? Is that C H K? Wait, here we go. C H K U P D. All right, is it done? C H K V E R. Okay, that's done. So it should be caps. C H K U P D. C H K U P D. Oh, wait. Update. I was just typing that. Update. Package code? Where's the package code? Security. Package version. Saw something with a code here. Package code. Exit. Closes the console. Install system update. Package code. Tell me what the code is. Oh, there it is. 434-6084. Here we go. 434-6084. Awesome. Please enter an active line. An active line. Where is that? True. Evla E V L A. I don't see an active line. Oh here, several lines, okay. Busy. Let's do ten forty-five. Ten forty-five. That's not good. Line out of fifty-nine eighty-seven. Not good either. Five four fifty four eighty. Fifty four eighty seven. There we go. Your system is now up to date. What the heck is going on? What's happening? Why are all my windows open? Somebody's at the door. Dude. Who opened all my windows? And now I can't close them. Okay. Let's see what's going on down here. This rainy night. Generator ran out of gas. Sweet. Luckily, I have some more over here. Shoot, I need to get this heater up there. Okay. Let's fill this up. Crank it up. Oh, 
Oh shoot! I lost my I lost my flashlight. Dang it! Oh come on! One week later, time was flying by. Connor's generator, Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there's no fires going, the only thing I could do is to check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. 2.34 a.m. We got another one. I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? Jack? I need you to wake up. I'm trying to get up. What is it now? You copy. Right here, Connor. Tell you what, I don't have the energy to do this right now. I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. Three more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? More people in this camp area. Like, they can't see why they can't. You want me to go out there by myself, dude? Seriously? Oh, there it is. Dang. Oh, yeah. Well. It isn't safe to go down there, but I thought I had to go. Shoot. Let's see. Oh, shoot. The only thing I made a sense of at a time was taking the evidence. Oh man. How do I take a picture? They're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Move, move, move. They're coming.
Go, 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 What was that? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> anyway, that was Iron Bar Lookout. That one really had me on the edge of my seat. Hope you enjoyed it. Check out some more videos on the channel. Till next time, peace.